Good afternoon YouTube, Pipe Poppy 73 here, coming to you from the front porch of La Casa Blanca. Yes, it's brown. Um, housekeeping, I'm smoking my Cobbett, I think it's called, Missouri Meerschaum, with some Sutliff Bulk Lord Nelson in there, sort of a oriental forward blend. Pretty afternoon in western North Carolina, had a lot of rain this week, but the sun is out right now. Temperature's still pretty comfortable. Humidity's not too bad. Of course, I'm sitting in the shade on the front porch, and I have no plans for working in the yard today. Um, and just thought I'd chat a little bit, if I can get some time in my telephone that will allow me to actually talk to you. I, this is my third try, and it keeps shutting me down, telling, and it cut me off at nine minutes, and it cut me off at six minutes. So we'll see what happens here. Anyway, I want to tell you about my mistake that I made this week. I went to the local brick and mortar. It's about 40 minutes away, and I bought some vintage cereal, an ounce, bulk. Uh, and I know bulk is not exactly the same as tin tobacco, but I still think that there is relevance there. Um, and I've been smoking that for the last three days, and you can see there isn't much left. So I got another ounce today while I was there, um, and I'll smoke that in the next three or four days. The problem is, is we, as we know, that um, vintage cereal is gone the way of the hair on the top of my head. Once what's been tinned up is gone, it's gone. It is no more. Um, not that there aren't a lot of good blends out there for me to find and try, um, some of which I also have in my little bag here. I've not smoked Durbar, but I hear really good things about it. And I've not tried Davidoff <coughs> Royalty, and I've heard good things about it. So those are two adventures still in front of me. But kind of to put a final point on going to my local brick and mortar, I've ordered a lot of stuff offline, online rather, um, and certainly the prices are, are more agreeable. Um, but sometimes once you throw in the shipping and handling, depending on who you're ordering from, I know you have a zero option with tobacco pipes, um, to be able to have the tobacco immediately in hand um, is maybe worth a few extra bucks. Plus, you can come across little finds like today. Uh, I picked up some Cornell and Deal uh, Habana Daydream. And the tin date, if I'm reading this correctly, was 06-12-2015. So, I've got a three-year-old can of tobacco here. It's already starting to bulge a little bit in here. Um, for a few bucks more than what I would get if somebody just pulled it off the shelf, it's probably going to be a recent vintage. Um, you can't do that when you order online. You can't kind of sort through the tins and look at the tin dates on the bottom. And I think that's pretty cool to be able to do that. Sorry, I dropped my lighter here. Um, so I will continue to freak with them. I think it's important to be able to um, spend time in that atmosphere because I don't get to do that very much. I don't know other pipe smokers other than the people that I've gotten to watch here on, on YouTube. Um, and to just talk with people about pipes and tobacco. That's a pretty satisfying thing for me to be able to do. Um, this is not a new fashion trend that I'm trying to set. Uh, my right hand, I'm, as I told you, I'm a painter, landscape painter. Um, I think I've been overdoing it a little bit with that hand, and I was given some compression gloves with little copper things in them. So it's supposed to kind of help with that sort of stuff, because I've got a lot of ache in there. Doesn't seem to be helping. Um, so instead, I've swapped over to painting with my left hand, which is an adventure for another time that we'll, we'll talk about. Um, but anyway, that's my Saturday afternoon. I'm going to shut all this down. I think I may go watch a movie or read a book. My grandson and I were at the Barnes & Noble this morning, not far from my brick and mortar, and we both picked up a couple of good reads. And uh, I may sit on the patio or out here on the front porch and smoke my pipe and enjoy a good book. Hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you for the people who have watched and uh, subscribed to me. Um, I'm a little surprised at how many subs I've got already which is a cool thing. Uh, I'm enjoying trying to connect with you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.